What's up guys, gals, how you doing? It's Blake with SunflowerOutdoorSports.com TV and today we're here to talk about the awesome, awesome, awesome Ontario Artac 2 survival knife. There's only one thing to really say about this knife and that's wow, this thing is cool. This thing, it's, it's huge guys, it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, it's in about oh, $125 price range um, is about the pri price point of it. You know, you can find it cheaper. Of course, you've got to find a place that has it in stock. And it just so happens right now that sunflowerouttoorsports.com has them in stock. So maybe you should just go ahead and pause this video, jump on over to the uh, sunflowerouttoorsports.com site and get one, uh, place your order, secure it, and come on back. I'm only kidding. Go ahead and watch the vid. No, I'm not. Go pause it. Go get the knife. Uh, real quick, before I go into the knife, I just want to say, if you go to sunflowerouttoorsports.com and order something, they're going to have it in stock. I can't tell you how angry I get when I go to other sites. I'm not going to name names. I might later. I order something. And a day later, I get an email. Oh, this is on back order. No, it's not on back order. You didn't have it in stock in the first place. You took my order, and now you went ahead and placed your order to your wholesaler, and you're going to wait until you get it, and then you're going to ship it to me. You know, and that's just no way to run a business, and that's not how SunflowerOutdoorSports.com runs their business. So you can be assured uh, when you order something from that site, you're going to get speedy service and um, your item is going to be in stock so on to the Artec 2 this thing is enormous you know I need a wide angle lens to film this thing this thing man but um, it comes in a pretty nice sheath here it's nylon and you can see right here you've got a pocket right here for a sharpening stone or even another knife um, and on the back here, uh, it is Molly capable, so you know you can put it on your uh, tactical vest. I think this would look pretty sweet, you know. Put it right on the back of your vest, um, so you can just reach your arm over your shoulder and rip it out, and you know whack somebody, whack some bad guys, some zombies' uh, head off. I'd be careful what I say. Um, I mean, the only thing really I'd like to see is maybe like you know a Kydex sheath i think that'd be a little nicer um and you know those kydex sheaths you know they're kind of molded to fit the knife so they can um you know stay in there a little bit better but it does you know it has a strap here to hold it in so i mean it of course you know if they did make it in the kydex sheath um i'm sure there'd be an equal amount a number of people saying boy why don't they do a nylon sheath you know every ounce counts you know it needs to be light so you know um you can't make every single person happy, so that's we just gotta live with it. Um, now, for the moment you all been waiting for, the knife. Look at this, right back here. See, so you got the Ontario logo there. Um, hold it back so you can kind of see the whole knife there. I'll show you the Rat logo, Randall's Adventure Training. That's pretty cool. I like it. See that right there. Artec 2. And if you notice, I went for the partial serrated. You know, I don't know. I just, you know, personally, I have a thing for uh, serrated blades. I know a lot of people out there probably don't like them. I can't sharpen them, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I like it. Um, so, you never know if you have to use this as a, you know, a, a, a defensive tool. You know, you might just want that little edge of serration there to cut through a leather jacket or something, you know. You never know. But um, overall length of this thing is 16 and a half inches. And just, you know, just to give you just kind of a, a feel, you know, for how, um, you know, long this is, how big it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring out our old uh, trusty friend, the Cold Steel Bushman. Look at that. Yeah, move this back here. 
pull the Bushman out of the sheet. There you go. So, I mean, it just kind of gives you an idea of, you know, how large this knife is. I mean, you know, the funny thing is, is, you know, Ontario and Rat, you know, they call this a survival knife. In Cold Steel, they call it a machete. <laughs> There's the uh, Cold Steel Bowie machete. As you can see, the, the Bowie machete, I think it has, a, it's a 12 inch blade, and I think, I know it is. And um, I think the handle's a little bit shorter or something, because I mean, they're I mean, almost darn near the exact same size. So it just kind of gives you guys a, a price, or a, price, a, a reference point, you know, how large it is. And um, it's kind of hard to tell in the video sometimes. The actual blade on the Artec is really, it's only about, well, they say it's um, 10 and a half inches. You know, if you, if you get, like, if you kind of go all the way back here, you might get 10 and a half inches. But if you actually go from, like, the edge of the blade, you're really just pushing about 10 inches. So, but, you know, this is a, a good blade, you know. It's really thick. Again, let me go ahead and pull up the, the Bushman. I mean, look at the, look at the differences there. And you saw us, you know, batoning through that, that uh, firewood on the Bushman. So, I mean, I can only imagine how well the uh, Artac will just, uh, just slice through uh, firewood. And, um, you know, the both the G10 steel, I believe. Or, I'm sorry, G10. Uh, it's the 1095 um, steel. I apologize about that. And uh, this Ontario blade is pretty sweet, man. It's got this nice uh, uh, Duracoat finish on there to protect the blade from rust. So I'm really, really excited about um, taking this out in the field and doing some tests with it. And hopefully here in the next few weeks I'll be doing a video of a field test with this thing. I just, I just recently got it within the last couple weeks, so I haven't even really had a chance to play with it. I like the handle here. Uh, the handle is uh, capable of being um, taken off, so that way if you get it wet, you know, you can take it apart and dry it off, so that way it doesn't get all rusted. And, you know, it's got a very nice uh, finger guard here, and I'm going to put some 550 paracord through here to um, have a lanyard. You know, you really should have a lanyard on all of your blades, so, if, you know, if you're slicing and dicing with it, you know, you don't want to fly out and... You know, slice your leg open and then you'll have to pull out your adventure medical kit and <clears throat> sew up your leg in the middle of nowhere. So, um, all I can say is um, this is, you know, an awesome knife, especially for the price point. I mean, you know, 125 bucks or so and change, you know, for a big heavy duty survival knife like this, uh, you know, you can't beat it. You know, if you go to, you know, Cold Steel or you know, a lot of other companies, you know, big survival knife, it's going to be like 400 bucks. Uh, I think that's about it uh, for tonight, guys. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you on the next vid. One last thing, I apologize, just want to, again, you know, sometimes I forget to say it, and I, I just want to make sure that, you know, I want to thank all the guys and gals out there who are serving in the armed forces, you know, protecting our freedoms. It's so important that um, they're doing that. They don't have to be there doing that. But they are. You know, thank you so much and I, I salute you. Over.